Hello my friends, welcome to the Electric Viking. Now I know some of you have been complaining that I've been using the word guys. Well here in Australia we don't really use that phrase to specify one gender over another. It's just a general term. So honestly, if you have a problem with it, well you don't have to watch the videos. But guys, if you're here, guys and girls, ladies and gents, friends, whatever you want to call it, doesn't really matter does it? If you're here and you've subscribed, Thank you very much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate that. Now, for a long time, I've been touting Tesla. I've had Tesla shares for a long time. I've told people they should buy Tesla shares. I've tried hard to get people to buy Tesla shares. I've preached Tesla and what they do because they have a lot of detractors. Don't know why, but they do. And one of the key reasons I love Tesla is their focus on full self driving, which I believe will completely change the way we live for the better. Yep, for the better in so many ways. It'll free up so much more time for us. It'll make driving safer. It'll make driving cheaper. It'll make taxis far, 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 far cheaper and safer and more readily available. There are so many benefits to full self-driving. Now, of course, Elon Musk has been promising full self-driving now for, well, many years. I was thinking many months, many years, how many? I don't remember when he started, but it's been a long time. And he's admitted that it was much harder to crack this nut than what he first thought. On several occasions, in fact. He's admitted that he's had to eat humble pie. And personally, I've started to think that maybe it's going to take Tesla and everyone else a bit longer to get there than what they thought. In fact, maybe quite a bit longer to get there than what they thought. Now, I don't personally believe that Google or Alphabet's self-driving that they have right now is full self-driving if self-driving is geofenced within a certain area i don't personally consider that full self-driving and honestly on a technical level you cannot possibly consider a geofenced vehicle to have full self-driving it's just an oxymoron of in terms of the language but i do believe that at some point waymo which is google's full self-driving division will eventually crack the nut as well. I believe Tesla and Waymo are the two companies which will take over the majority of the full self-driving market within the next decade. So while we're still waiting for that cross-country trip that Tesla promised, is full self-driving ready yet? Well, not quite, but things are getting more promising. Now, this is the first time I've seen a video of Tesla's Pure Vision Autopilot with full self-driving beta driving from Los Angeles to San Francisco with zero disengagements. Now, unfortunately, there was sort of one, one, just one disengagement. There was a minor issue after entering San Francisco. The driver said that while it resulted in a disengagement, the intervention may not have been needed. But the driver was slightly startled and chose to play it safe. So. I'll leave that for you to decide as the video plays. Whole Mars Catalog is a hardcore advocate of Tesla's advanced driving systems, and he tends to post videos and tweets reveling in its successes. With that said, he's been eagerly updating his YouTube page as well as posting clips on Twitter. The videos show Tesla's full self-driving beta version 9.1 navigating between various locations usually with very few disengagements and or very little human assistance. Whole Mars Catalog tends to post short clips that are sped up so that we can see the whole trip on Twitter. Later, he adds a normal speed option for viewing on YouTube so that people can check out every single detail. It's important to note that in this particular video, it doesn't appear to be Whole Mars Catalog piloting the car, but rather another full self-driving beta tester who shared the videos with him. Now, he says that, Technically, the car did travel from LA to San Francisco without any disengagements. But in fairness, he admits that there was a single intervention in San Francisco to parking lot. Now, there's been recent significant improvements to Tesla's full self-driving beta. After they've launched their new supercomputer and really started to improve their neural net. And I think there's also been improvements since Tesla has removed radar and focused solely on video vision. Now, the funny thing is, the thing on, there's so many detractors of Tesla's video vision on, online. The forums are just littered with people criticizing them. It's ridiculous, really. 
If you see this video and you watch other videos of people driving their Teslas in the rain using full self-driving, which is not technically full self-driving yet, but pretty close, then you will realize that these detractors are, to be honest, they're mostly wrong. They're mostly wrong. They're mostly emotional people who don't like Tesla. They're not interested in seeing videos showing them that they're wrong. They just don't like Tesla or there's something about autonomous driving that they don't like. I don't know what it is. As you can see in this video, Tesla has come a long, long way. And remember, taxis as a service or driving as a service is a multi-trillion dollar industry. In fact, it's the world's second largest industry. Now, if Tesla can actually crack this nut, as I've been repeating in this video, within the next 24 months, then I see Tesla stock value at least tripling upon that happening. Because this is going to open up enormous avenue for wealth for Tesla owners of their vehicles and for Tesla themselves. Now, I'm personally still waiting for Tesla's promised cross-country trip with zero interventions. Do you personally think that Tesla are capable of pulling that off by the end of the year? Now, as far as I can tell, legacy automakers, all of them, don't have anything that can match Tesla's full self-driving system. If I'm wrong, I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments. Tell me who's doing it as well as Tesla or in that ballpark. I don't think anyone is, but I'd be interested to know your thoughts. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.